Hey Panthers, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your break and two weeks off from school. And let's get ready to do some art this week. Uh, before we begin, I have been slacking on this one, is our mantra, my bad, I'm so sorry. So from now on, please remember, or just do it on your own or recite it in your head. But our mantra goes like this. My mantra, I am smart, I am creative, I am positive, I am thoughtful, I am an artist. All right, so now hopefully that has turned your gears on and you're ready to start drawing with me. And see, I have Cozy Bear. This is what we're doing in kindergarten and first grade this week. Second and third grade, we're drawing some simple shaped cardinals. And fourth and fifth, we're using Romero Brito inspired artwork to draw some mugs. Um, so gather your supplies. Remember, you can do any one of these videos. You can do all three, it's your call. So have fun and I'll see you here in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to draw one of my absolute favorite drawings to do with kindergarten and first grade is Cozy Bear. And we use simple shapes and um, this should teach you how to place things centered on your paper and how big things need to be compared to other things in the picture. Um, like I said, simple shapes, circles, triangles, half circles and as simple as this is, everybody's bear turns out differently, of course, because we are all different artists and we all draw differently and see things differently. So um, one of my favorites, please share your work with me when you're all done, nice and colored and filled in. This one is painted, but today I'm using my basic crayons and Sharpie combination. So grab your supplies and let's get ready to draw. All right, my friends, the first step is drawing the two eyes and those will be towards the top of my paper. So let's, let's, uh, let's line it up here. Let's look. So my Sharpie is kind of where my two eyes will go. It's towards the top, right about here. Okay, so we're gonna use two oval shapes in the middle of your paper, not to the side, in the middle, like there's one, there's the other. Then you're going to draw two smaller circles inside of that. That's like a little light reflection. Fill in. If you wanna put eyelashes, put some eyelashes. All right. Eyes are done. Next up is the nose. And the nose is a triangle, but it's upside down. So we're going to go below the eyes, right about here. And I'm gonna draw an upside down triangle, just like that. If you want, you can fill that in now or wait till you color. Now we're gonna draw his little mouth. It's like two hooks or I guess Kind of like the letter J and a U. Now we're gonna add like his snout area or his um, muzzle, I guess we can call it. So starting next to the nose right here, come out toward the side and then go down just a little bit lower than the mouth. On this side too, out to the side and down like this. Next, we're going to draw the scarf. So the scarf is gonna touch where we just finished drawing, the bottom of the mouth area. It's gonna go across. So starting right about here, touch the bottom, get really close, and then go across. Then we're gonna use two lines on the side, like this, and then Go across again. Before I add detail to the scarf, I'm gonna finish my bear's head. So I'm gonna use the edge of my scarf as the start. It's gonna come up, over, and down. <laughs> A little flat right there, but that's okay. His ear can fill it in. We're gonna use two round shapes for the ears. Here's one. 
Here's the other. All right, so now I'm gonna use the, or draw the um, scarf tails right here and here. So I'm gonna go make kind of almost like a rectangle shape. And then another one next to it. Then I'll draw the body coming down off the page. And then since the tail scarfs are covering this part of his body, I'm just gonna start at this corner and jump over the tail and then draw. Awesome. Now I'm gonna draw the inside of his tummy. Now, if you have room to add other things in your background, maybe trees or snowflakes or something else, please go for it, my friends. It's your drawing. Now, when you color, have fun coloring. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Now you can start coloring. Boys and girls, um, cozy bear, simple. I use brown, I use tan, rainbow, and a solid color background. Your call, friends. Have fun coloring it, and I hope you enjoyed drawing cozy bear with me today, and I will see you next week for another art lesson. Have a great day.